Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 61. And I'm here, your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I got one of my brothers back with me. He's, he hasn't been here for a while, at least for a single pod. Spoo- Spooji, I've been here last month. Yeah, last month. That's like, what? Like, Do you remember your episode? With Chris. No, he, I think he had one before that. Oh, it was with Chris. I forgot. Look at you. See, you, you confused. Because yeah. <laughs> I thought you was here with you. I thought it was your last time. Was with you, that was right? in July. That was July? Yeah. You, you Damn, got- so you was here last month? So wait, as in like, what? Was that September? It was like September 17, something like that. You remember the date? Yeah, I'm kind of weird. I think it's weird. How the fuck do you remember the, the date? The 11th or the 17th. But you haven't, had a, you haven't had a single since like, what, last year? Oh, no, I haven't had a single in a good time. <laughs> I, don't know, I think I literally really had like one or two. That's tough. Because I know the last time, I think you had a single last year. And then afterwards, I just gave, I put you on with Ish and yeah, Jason. Yeah, you put me on It was Jason and UJ and Chris. Hey, bro, welcome back, my, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm special. But, <laughs> but if you haven't, haven't already, follow us on all the socials. I know regulars on TikTok. We're almost at 208,000. We're almost... We've been we've been a little stagnant lately. I don't know what's going on. I think TikTok got some weird shit. I heard something bad. But I heard they talk. They, they Loki talking about banning TikTok. Why? <laughs> some oh, shit, shit. Some shit with security and all that nonsense. With security. Yeah. They've been talking about banning TikTok for a minute though. TikTok is pretty toxic though. It is because, but it's like I'm not gonna lie. TikTok is like the one place where like most businesses are like actually using their advertisement. Yeah, bro. Like I had got like a like a like a, a notification was like. Oh, send me your email and your TikTok account followers, stuff like that. I'm like, bro, I have two followers. <laughs> like, what do you want from me? Like, I be getting a lot of people like that, too. But I don't know. It'd be fine. But, oh, follow us on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Follow us on all podcasts and platforms at noregulars.podcast. Follow. Oh, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. No Regulars Podcast, where we might get canceled one day. Oh, join the Discord, too. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Everybody, you got 207. 207? 207, K. Oh, shout out to that 206. That's tough. Um, oh, shout out to our sponsor. Shout out to our sponsor, Natural Shield G. If you need something for your mind, something to, um, what's that called? Some, this is detox, something for your mind, help you focus in school, Cleanse. help you with cleansing your body, help you with anxiety. Take this three times a day in your tea, coffee, all that stuff. It'll help you. Fellas, all my people that be playing video games up all night like us to like what? What time you be playing video games to like? Like 3, 4 in the morning. Really? I be going to like 5. I ain't gonna lie. I've been tweaking lately. Yeah, you you, you, you <laughs> a freaking, you a bat for that, bro. I got, I don't got all that energy. Really? Nah. I used to. I used to back in my you. <laughs> like but. my free, I be, like what's, what is your normal time do you think you go to sleep? Uh, like on a daily basis if you like at an average. Maybe like 2 to 4 a.m. Yeah. That I shit think. is so bad, bro. I'm t- I haven't gone to sleep before like 11 o'clock since like sophomore year in high school. I'm really? 20, 20, I swear to God. <laughs> so, damn. I'm telling you, I've been going to sleep like past like 12, 30 a.m. ever since, bro. Nah, I don't even know why. It's like I can't go to sleep like that no more. I don't know. I'm telling you it's this, bro. Like for some reason, like I'll be looking at stuff then it just... Too much stuff. Oh, let me see this. Let me click on this. Do you ever now. like go on your phone like when you're about to go to sleep and like two hours just pass? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, uh, that shit scares me, bro. I ain't Twitter, gonna Twitter and YouTube, bro. Twitter? You gotta get Twitter. I do have Twitter. You gotta get that Twitter. Bro. Wait, what do you be looking up on Twitter? Twitter got Yo, you literally see everything on Twitter. Yeah, I know. Man. Yo, you oh my god. I remember I was watching a video, I sent it to Jay. It was like it was like a video of people in like Afghanistan fighting in the war. I don't, you probably would have seen it. It was like the guy, he had like the machine gun. He was just he like was, shooting it randomly. And then he got popped. Yes. Yo. Nah, yeah, you can see everything on Twitter. And then did you I see, think Twitter's way better than Instagram. Nah, it, I mean, it, it probably is. It's like the more, it's like where you, you can the post more, like anything. It's more toxic. Yeah. Reddit is really toxic. I go on Reddit too. That's why I'd be looking Reddit at Reddit. Reddit's crazy, the, bro. The secrecies. Nah, Reddit's scary, though. You got that dark stuff. I think Reddit got more darker stuff, but you got to look deep into that. I know. Reddit. I can't even find the dark shit. I'd be trying that. Nah, nah, I don't be trying to. Stay away from that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I seen a Another thing on Twitter, it was a it was a guy. I guess there was it was in Afghanistan again, but they was driving little Humvees, and like he was like recording like the guy behind him, and the nigga just blew up. Yo, I think I know what you're talking like he about. Exploded in the shit, and like you see the yeah, legs flying. It was bro. the motherfucking landmines. Yes, that bro. shit is crazy. That's why I don't know how motherfuckers could just casually patrol during war, knowing that any moment you, you could, could just you could just get get wiped off earth. I can't, bro. I can't. I don't know, bro. I don't understand any of that shit. If, I, if, if I feel like the rush for them sometimes. What, like adrenaline rush? That'd be keeping them like, why like... I feel like a lot of people go to war because it's either in their family or it's like 
they just they don't have nothing else to do. You got family that went that was in the war? Nah. My my grandfather was, but he oh, was really? that, I think he was in a World War II shit. Oh, okay. I don't think I had any. I doubt it. Not that I know of, at least. So do you want to go in the war, bro? Hell no, bro. That PTSD <laughs> is crazy. Nah, bro, I ain't trying to fight no lamps, bro. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. You're crazy. He's that, coming for you. That, oh, I'm going to make sure he hears this shit. That was a great joke. I'm I ain't going to hold you, bro. I don't know the real niggas know that shit. That was a great joke. What was that, like five years ago? Bro, oh, man. Zaki made that into a song. Oh, he's, he's <laughs> just back down. Oh, man, bro. He was getting dissed for no, while he was in the Army. I know, right? Damn, bro. I love you. Hey, bro, he's back, though. If y'all know. <laughs> if y'all know who he is. But, oh, I don't know if you peep. I got the merch on. I did see, man. I'm you about to rip saying? it off of you. <laughs> merch. Oh, wait. what's This should be coming out that's Sunday. That's you, Jay, right? No, this is, this is you. No, nah, I know that's me. Ish. Oh, no. This is um Tyrone and them. That's Tyrone? Yeah, because it's like a night. And like with the, oh, the I would thought I was UJ. Now UJ is the little the the ninja nigga because he always wants to be like a ninja. And Fritz, he but he's by himself, right? Nah, him and Fritz. Him and Fritz put together because you know Fritz always wear a do rag, so I have him with a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, told you, I, I had to think about this one. Yo, you might have to edit that. What the robot? Why you might have to put raw paper now. You said raw paper? Raw. Nah, nigga, back with but that shit cut. That shit tough. We 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 off the tobacco wave now. You feel me? No more, no more, ta- no more tar in the lungs, bro. <laughs> oh, niggas use raw papers we, now. Use paper now. We're trying oh, to stay clean, bro. But if you looking at this now, the all the merch, the link should be in the description. Go copy some. Go copy some t-shirts. Limited supply. Uh, and for the first fifty shirts, you get free stickers for a chance to win twenty five percent off for the next drop coming up. And I got new hoodies coming on too. Why, why, so we coming seen, up. I seen. Yeah. yeah now nah, I, I kind of I'm fixed those ones up though. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we need we need some edits though. Yeah, it's that's coming. Right. It's that's coming the whole point for me. Okay. Trial and error. Bro. Oh, trial and error, bro. Trial and error. But to start the pod off, bro, what are we gonna talk about? Let's see. Let's see. Which what? One? Oh, the freaking um. I want to talk about this Mad Longo. You heard about that freaking. That we can't say we say corn stars, that broke her back, at TwitchCon. Yo, I don't know how she was able to do that in a foam pit. See, I don't understand. I heard it was mad shallow. I heard it was garbage. I heard that whole con itself was was garbage. I heard like it was bad. I heard a bunch of people was hurting themselves too. Like they might get sued because of that shit. Yo, like, but like yo, it was the fact that she did it. She looked. She did like a full ass split. <laughs> <laughs> and then I know she's like she's like. I can't, I can't, I can't even get up, bro. Yeah, I heard she like broke her back in like two places, and she had yeah, to like get surgery. Crazy. But I think she's like good now. Nah, but you want to know what I just heard though? What? It sounds sad. I just saw some shit on Twitter. I think she was like streaming. Yeah. Talking about it, she found out when she went for it that she found out that she was pregnant. Uh huh. And she had to get an abortion because of the way the surgery went and shit for her back. Really? I swear to God. That's wait. She found out she was pregnant when she went for that. She didn't even know she was pregnant. So even so. Oh, so she had to get an abortion to get the surgery, basically. Yeah, so basically she never did that. Did that shit? She would have had a kid. She would have had a kid, but she didn't even know about it. Oh, that's od, bro. That shit made me think about it. How many porn stars do you think have to go through that? Oh, a lot. Well, I don't know. Like, y'all just found out I'm pregnant. I think a lot. It has to be a lot. Cause like freaking what's what's that girl name that what that got a baby? They say it's like Blake Blake Griffin or KD's kid. Uh, I think it's Blake La- Griffin's kid. Now. Lana Lana Rhodes. Yeah. I think people were saying because the way he looks, and then she was saying like, it's like um, some tall, big ass like um, NBA star. See, they say he plays on the Nets. He still plays for the Nets though. No, what think he plays for now? Who Blake Griffin? Yeah, he's on the Celtics. So, but like, did you seen the picture of the baby? Like, he, I think he yeah. has like red hair. So I think mean, I mean, he's a ginger, bro. <laughs> so I guess it he's is a ginger, bro. So I guess it is Blake Griffin kid, bro. I don't know. Dang, he's. I heard. I forgot what they said. I guess like when she they found that, out. Are you gonna have to wait for that one picture with him? Blake Griffin posted it with him, bro. Oh man, bro. That's what they did with Car- Cardi and Iggy, bro. Just one day it took for Cardi to be posted with the baby. Like, oh, I, now we see, bro. So does he? Does Cardi take care of his son? It's his boy, right? I would assume he does. Like on the low, though, right? On the low, though. I think a lot of rappers do that. Like he, he probably just throw hell. I mean, it's Iggy though. She don't really need that much for him though. Yeah, but like, I feel like you still want to be in your, yeah. your your child's life. You know what I'm saying? I think I think he still tries to be, but. Like you think Blake Griffin like denies it, I even till now. I feel like he, I feel like he would try to deny it. <laughs> That's od though. Like you don't see this shit. It's the fact that it's the fact that I think people didn't think that they were even dating. So he did. I think he like did it to her on the low type shit. Yeah, and got her pregnant. So that motherfucker like, yeah, I'm not even trying. 
Oh, do all that? <laughs> yeah, oh. he didn't try to claim that publicly, bro. That's so sad, bro. Freedom he kids, bro. He might as well, bro. Like, like, think about like I remember they was she talking. She probably about, had more money than him. Who? I oh, no, nah, low key. She Blake low Griffin key. walking around getting million dollar contracts. That's it. She like I don't even know how much he probably make, bro. Yeah, bro. Especially after all this shit with especially, the publicity, especially, bro. Especially, especially her name. But she stopped though. You know the right? Yeah, I heard. Yeah. I mean, she better stop. She got a kid now. You can't be doing that shit still. Like, you think niggas out here with kids? Nah, there's definitely people out here with kids doing that, bro. Like, how you think the baby gonna feel, bro? That's like, yeah, like when you go to school. Like, I mean, I don't think he's gonna be too bad because I think it's gonna be a little old. Bro, it's just the fact that, like, you know your mom was a spitter, bro, and she was going crazy (laughs) on the cam. That's bad, bro. Like, like, it's just the fact that, you know, yo, what's your mom do? (laughs) Aw. You think you're gonna be homeschooled? My easy, easy answer. She's an entertainer. (laughs) <laughs> what do you mean What do you mean by that Like you gonna say She's an actor or something Yeah I'm Nah gonna, actor's crazy She's an actor What's actor. a more movie Nah <laughs> Asking too many questions Going too many details Nah uh, Nah bro It didn't come out yet uh, <laughs> Nah bro You Oh You been seeing all the new movies That's been coming out lately Did you I see wa- any I watched Black Adam Oh you did Oh don't tell me Me, We're going about We're about to watch it tomorrow it, bro. Bro. Yeah we watch that it tomorrow That shit's fire bro That's tough I bro. think I believe it's worth it It is Yeah is it better? Is it better than it has to be better than Halloween ends, right? Hell yeah, bro! That oh, movie was movie. garbage. I watched it that at home, bro. Thank oh, you God. did. Oh, I watched it in the theaters with on, Jay, bro. On Peacock. I'm sorry for y'all, bro. I really wasted your bro. <laughs> that shit was garbage, bro. But like, I under I could see the vision, bro. Spoilers. I don't even care, bro. That nah, movie was garbage, a- bro. Bro, like he ba- like I was watching it. My father was like, "Yo, watch how he start training this kid, bro." <laughs> Start training him, bro. I'm like, bro, like, what is this, bro? Like, what do you think this is, bro? Like, this is, like, it's mainly supposed to be about Michael Myers. And it's not about Michael Myers. Yeah. But, it's, I mean, I guess I, they try to make, like, a modern type of thing. No, nah, that that, but, that shit was garbage to me, man. Like, I ain't like the way they, they in, involved that random kid. Which they one? had, like, some type of demonic connection with Michael Myers. I know, like, he looked into his eyes and then became a killer. <laughs> yeah, that's basically that's what happened. happened. Like, is Michael Myers, like, a ghost or some shit? Like, I'm thinking, I thought he was, like, a normal guy. I don't know, bro. And then the way they they low key slaughter him at the end, he can't come back after that. I look, if he look. does, I'm not watching it. <laughs> no, I look the grinding part okay, but like the fact that the way the way they killed him, while he he died basically by that one lady. That's what I'm saying. That's all he she could have done. Like you you could have done that like ten years ago. I'm like, bro. I seen so. Many, he took on like six firefighters, bro. Exactly. And he died to this old lady right here, bro. This old ass lady that's like in her sixties. That's With what the, I'm saying. Way older than him. No, no, no. She's not older than him. They're probably the same age. No, no, no. He's a, he's an old older brother. Oh, okay. But still though, that's so ass, bro. Nigga dropped the fridge on him. Stabbed his knife. You tell me you couldn't get up from the fridge? That guy isn't he strong as hell? But like, he, I'm, he's like possessed by the, the the devil, bro. And the fact that he let that happen was crazy. The devil got the stopped. grinder part. They Loki should have been did that. That's what I'm saying. Nah, even the movie before they should have been violated him like that. I forgot what happened in the movie before. I know they killed like their daughter or something. They shit. like at the end they try to they try to jump in like the whole town and then they lost. <laughs> it was like it was like 15 of them, bro. Wow. They knocked him down. And they just watched him get right back up. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> like, you could have just cut his throat like the lady did, bro. Yo, if I see him on the ground, I'm going to keep bashing and bashing and bashing, bro. Like we said, I, I would have been trying to, like, rip this body up. Like, you know, you have to take the body parts off, bro. You got to cut bro. each part of his, his, his limbs, His limbs bro. off, bro. Now, the beginning scene fucked me up, though. What happened to with, the With the kid? When the kid fell off the shit and he died? You remember? With the little boy? Look, look. So, remember how the guy, the, the one that became Michael Myers... He was babysitting a little boy, and the little boy like locked him in the in the closet, and he kicked the oh, door open. Oh yeah, that shit fucked my head. Up. I no, said, I oh. you, he really deserved that <laughs> shit. Too. I felt, I felt no remorse, bro. What? Like he's playing around too much, bro. Like you can't be playing like that. <laughs> he really knocked. He him. whacked him with the door. He whacked him with the door. Hey, bro. bro. Cause I really <laughs> thought Michael Myers in that bitch. He really killed that nigga, like off the swiftness. That was bro. The only, that was the only death that. No, but that shit didn't even mean. Yo, that I ain't understand that. That one death with the kid mm-hmm. really started this start really started this guy's journey to be a serial killer. I don't even know. I thought it was just like, like he became like the new boogeyman because he killed that kid. These motherfuckers teaming up. And then, yeah, so and then how do you, how he beat up Michael Myers so easily and took his mask? Bro. I'm like he really beat his ass and then took the mask and then started killing niggas. Yeah, he bitched them and he took the mask. The mm-hmm. one scene where he fry, where he put the torch in the kid's mouth though, that was OD. That was probably one of the maxes kill I see him do. I bro. was like, nah, that was so gross, bro. 
a flamethrower in, the- in your mouth. I don't know how niggas I want to know, like, it's going to sound weird. The process of, like, how you're done, like, like what the fuck, bro? Like, do all your nerves in your mouth just disappear, bro? This is probably, it's probably definitely a slow you're swall- death. You're swallowing hella, hella, hella flames. You probably can't even breathe low-key. You can't breathe. So you're just, like, suffocating with <laughs> flames? <laughs> oh, that's, what you, that's evil, bro. Did you, oh, did you see that? The, um, I think the new Avatar trailer coming out. I'm seeing that. I heard it's three hours long. I'm still watching it. I'm still watching. I look cool. Nah, but if you're going to watch it. You gotta put your money's worth. You gotta watch an IMAX. 3D. Oh, that's all I go, bro. I don't go to AMC. Th- Wait, do you still go to AMC movie theaters? Uh, the one in Jersey Gardens, yeah, or like in general, like AMC in general. Yeah. Um, I go to Cinemark now, bro. That's in Watch on? Yeah. I heard they got some nice ass seats. They got great seats. Bro. They got they got a good IMAX theater. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll say that. So that's bro. why I and like you can. I have the my mom has the little um the monthly plan thing, so we get free tickets every month. You get for one, any for any movie, any movie, every month you get a free ticket. And you can like stack them. What? So like, if you don't watch movie for two months, you get two free tickets. What? That's fire! That's what I'm saying. I'm I think about to look at it. I think it's like nine dollars a month that you pay. It's like a subscription, so it's not too bad. You yeah, get your money. You get worth. to watch any any theater, any theater. But gotta be AMC though. Right? No, it gotta be um Cinemark. Mm, but oh, right. and then you get discount on all the food and shit like that. You put eight, pay online. That shit good. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm need that. Yes, yeah. sir. Mom gonna have to show me that right there. Yeah, bro. But oh, okay. I got another question, right? So rank these heroes heroes from best to worst. I don't know if you've seen them yet. It's Thor, Superman, Omni Man, and Goku. So rank them from best to worst. Y'all know me. I'm a big old. I'm a big old Dragon Ball. You said from worst from, from best, best to worst. The worth? best per the best superhero to the worst superhero. Not to be biased, I'm about to go my man Goku first hand first. That's serve. fine. Okay. First hand first serve. Then it's Superman. You think Superman? No, I think Omni Man low key better. Though. Are you dumb? You know, Omni Man is like because I, Super- I, I understand it, but like this is Superman. I was like, I'm even hesitant to even put Goku over Superman because like, them two are like, they Omni Man is basically Superman, but the weaker version. Like Superman is really but Superman, Superman got the, is the, he is Superman for Omni Man is the the killer mentality. He's a copy version of him. He tries to he's trying to be. Like he's Superman. a copy version, but he got the killer mentality. But just Superman's just stronger, bro. This man, how he's the same he, shit. He picked up the book of infinity. You know what that is, bro? Yes. It weighs. It don't weigh. It weighs. I think Omni Man could pick that shit up. Nah, if he really wanted to. bro. Omni- that nigga was forged from literally everybody. Bro, he was this last survivor. Them niggas was all basically just killing each other. Superman too, bro. The last nah, of his bro. kind, bro. Until like later. Nah, he on. was the last of his kind because the shit blew up. Exactly, bro. His, I mean, niggas was literally killing him. Yeah, bro. They, they, were, just they were just killing each other, bro. That's what I'm saying. He had to be the strongest to survive. I mean, basically, that. what happened? Superman's planet. It was the same race just fighting each other. And nah, but that was just a war. These niggas is literally going one on one. Like, who was That's the strongest? Bro, and he came out. Nah, I was watching. But well, you watched the whole the whole anime. Um, yeah, I watched the whole. Um, that shit fire, right? That was a good one. I ain't that gonna lie. That's fire, shit. I went. I heard season two coming out soon. No, she gotta watch two. Um, the boys. I watched like the first season of it. I haven't finished it yet. You fuck with it? It's okay. That man, Homeland. Homeland. Homeland See, you, put, you put Homeland, Homeland in there too, honestly. Homeland's a dickhead. I put Homeland over. Nah, I can put him over Om- Omni Man. I was about to say, don't put him over Omni Man, bro. Nah, Omni Man Omni- on the Superman is over. So we're going to. Nah. And Thor, Thor's last. Cause okay, funny. we're going to keep Thor last, though, right? Thor mid. I'm sorry, bro. Stop saying I mean, Omni Man over Superman. I'm That's telling crazy. You, bro. I'm just saying, bro. That man was literally. Had to survive against the same people that have the same powers as him. That's killing him. Bro. Did, you, did you see that scene? They literally fought. They somebody will kill somebody and then he'll get killed. He had to survive that. Bro, do you know who Superman is, bro? You know who his enemies is, bro. Do you know who, bro? Doomsday Omni is? Man done finesse the whole world to think he's trying to save them, but really he's just preparing them for <laughs> Doomsday. Yeah, he really did like, do that, bro. You think Superman could do shit like that? He got a good heart. I'm not saying Superman powers his ass. I'm saying his mentality is not where Omni Man's mentality is. Bro, but like imagine if it if it was though, bro. It's not though. <laughs> He's too nice. Bro, we've seen evil Supermans before, bro. He really he he was doing motherfuckers dirty. Nah, bro. That nigga was about to kill his son. Bro. Superman would never kill his I son. I said, what do you do? What's your, what's your ranking then, bro? I said Goku. I just switched the same thing, but Goku, Omni Man, Superman swear. I might be biased because oh, right, I like that yeah, Goku up there, bro. That's a motherfucking planet destroyer right there. Because Goku bro. cheese, bro. Like he's literally like fucking. He's just he's, he's like a he, lesser he's, version of One Punch Man. He's he's the universe, bro. Like nigga, literally just. Bro, I don't like comparing him with One Punch Man because One Punch Man literally 
It's just meant to defeat everybody. That shit makes no sense. Is, is he ever going to die? That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he ever going to die? I think he's literally invincible, bro. Really? He might be literally invincible, bro. Like, he can't die at all. Bro, I think it was like a new ma- new um, new manga panel. Like, a new manga chapter with One Punch Man where he was fighting some really strong-ass person when he was low-key going head-to-head with him. And he was still beating that motherfucker Are up, Are you bro. serious? Yeah. I seen one episode, and I just seen him just end everything. Like, everybody was just dying from this one monster, and he was just like, I'm here. Punch he, him. Yeah, he did him dirty, <laughs> bro. He don't make... I don't like him, but I like him at the same time, bro. That's like the easiest show to, like, create, <laughs> low-key. Literally, make an anime show, like, all right, I'm going to make the strongest person, but he's the most generic-looking person. He's a, I know, he's a Sims character. <laughs> <laughs> he do like a sim character. He like more generic than fucking. He look like he's the a, worst version he's, of eight. He's an NPC, bro. What no, a, he's an NPC with superpowers. He found a he found a superhero costume in a, in a in a box, bro. And he was able to use that, that shit, shit, bro. That shit, bro. man. All right, bro. Let me let us know which who's better in this list because that's because the only reason I picked these people is because these are like the strongest people that I can think of. What I'm saying, just don't take Superman under Omni Man. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. If you have the mentality to do all the shit he did, nigga literally took out every hero. Bro, Superman can literally do the same thing, bro. But he doesn't have the mentality to I don't do mean it. He, I don't mean he weak just because he don't do it, bro. Hey, bro, you got to be able I to mean, shoot hold him back, trigger, bro. That just mean he holding back, bro. Anybody I mean, can shoot a gun, but now I go pull it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he might not pull it, but like... <laughs> he going to he 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 hold that shit to your head hard as fuck. If the nigga... <laughs> He's going to hold that shit to his head. Hey, just bro. Apply, just apply hella pressure to your head, bro. I, I heard the freaking... Co- not the... Co- the was it the... Mo- is it a comic or is it a manga? The Comic. It's a comic. I heard like the freaking... The sun guy or some shit by Alien in the, the comment. S- the sun? What's his name? In- Invincible. I heard he got or some shit. Oh, Invincible did. He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> by like another... Um, it was a dude? It was a it was a lady with the same race same race as him. Oh, he got a girl. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was a boy. Never mind. I she thought was, it, she was like, "I like you. We're gonna make strong babies." Basically, He's oh, like, I swear to God, she said, "You're gonna make a fine like host, whatever, some shit like that." You think it's gonna happen in season two? They were fighting. They was fighting. And he was hitting her, and then she just <laughs> took him down, bro. And nah. did it to him, and then he was crying right after. The <laughs> Low key funny rum, like yo, you just got violated. <laughs> nah, get my superheroes nuts, bro. Nah, that's crazy, bro. But um, that's a, that's a rush right there, bro. That's a rush. Niggas was imagine fighting in the sky. The next thing you know, you get nah, pile drive, bro. I thought it was about the dude. That's why I was. I was that's like, even crazy. That'll be nuts. Going. I'm like, what they put that in a comic? I said, huh. That's go OD, it's, bro. It's a little more safer, though. You yeah, know. you know what I'm saying. You got, you got to look at it, though. Yeah, hey, bro. You got anything you want to talk about before I ask this one question? Or you got um, I actually wanted to speak about this one thing that I, I, I read upon recently. What happened? So, I ain't watched this movie. You ever watched The Maze Runner? Yeah. So, like, what I heard, right? Because Ish was telling me. So, I think in uh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. They they just funded them, right? Like a thing, uh, they funded them like a trillion dollars to build this landscape that goes all the way across, bro. And it looks like a mirror. I think right? I've seen that before. No, it's like the, about, the line shit. Yeah, and like within it, bro, it's like a whole like population of people, bro. Like it's. I think they just started building that shit, low key. Bro, they yeah, they just started. They funded one trillion dollars for that shit, bro. Where they get that money from, bro? I don't know, but that's just basically like, like within it, it's just hella. It's like little as fuck. And it's like mirrored, bro. Like so, you low key can't even see where it's at, bro. But it's like I, I think I I, th- I don't know if I talked about it, but I probably I know I've seen this before. But I know they said it's like it's like um it's gonna be like futuristic and shit like that. It's futuristic and like everything shit. is like like five minutes walking distance from each yes, other. Yes, bro. Like, it's like New York City, but like a like a smaller version of it. Yeah, bro. But everything's just like it's a long as it's like fucking it's like a whole country like length, bro. Long. Bro. You think you'll li- you think you'll be able to live there? Oh, definitely live in that shit. Bro. <laughs> bro, I just I, I feel like that shit would feel like a simulation, bro. You feel like you're literally just not connected to the real world, bro. Mm. If you're really just living in there. Nah, see. Uh, what do they be like? Yeah, you can live in here, but you can't leave now. That's scary. But That's like you I'm probably, saying. but you probably don't have to leave. But it's like now you're stuck in there type shit. Because like I heard, there's everything's like automated and shit. Like they have like they're gonna have like flying robots and shit. That's od. Let me see. I'm trying to see. They they're making. I remember I was Saudi reading Arabia. I was they're making new. I think you got some new shit. I think they're making some other shit where it's like in the mountains. Like it's a futuristic city, but it's in the mountains of like Saudi Arabia. 
Like they make a whole bunch of new futuristic cities. I think I talked about this before. Wait, wait, where? In Saudi Arabia, same thing. That might be that shit, bro. I'm telling you, that shit's big as fuck. Imagine how much that shit it costs to pay to live in that shit. You know how I many people like you know how, how hard it is probably to build that shit. Like just imagine. I heard the shit was like freaking a couple miles high or some shit like that. Nah, it can't be a couple miles high. That's OD. Look, how the fuck are you gonna make that shit? I think I seen it though. It was like it's like a big ass mirror, right? Yeah, that, and shit's, like, that shit's weird, bro. How do you think that shit is like making that shit? Look, nah, that's. I think nice. these are like um, like what is like what is supposed to look like? You think it was actually it's actually gonna like end up looking Look, like that? You see this? Nah, that's od. And well, that shit goes driving, into the ocean. You driving your boat, and you, <laughs> and you that see shit. that shit, and by accident, you like run into that shit. Look, bro. Nah, hold on. The nighttime should look crazy. Where is that at? Saudi Arabia. It's like Middle East. That's like um, like in between like Asia and like Africa, mm. I think. I'm not, or it might be a, it might be a, its own is that island. In India? Nah, it's like it's like um, Middle Eastern. So it's like I don't know if it's a, it might be an island. The fuck is that? That's like a cave. Bro, it's just I guess for the boats to go in, bro. Nah, I imagine there's a cruise ship going in that shit. Bro, oh yo, you know I was watching I was watching Joe Rogan podcast and there was a guy that was talking about he found a. He found like a uh, the world's largest cave, and like it's so big, like you could put like a you could put like New York City in that shit. Where I think it's in um fuck where is it? It's like Mongolia or some shit, and it's like they took a they took a picture of it, and it looks like a little cave, but like you could see the people like standing. It's like they're mad little, they're like ants, and it's like you could fit like a whole city in that whole cave, and it's like. I don't remember he was just talking about like they was like excavating through it and there's like it has its own ecosystem. Like it has its own like waterfalls, like trees and shit so in there. You just gotta like cut that shit out, like fix all that shit around it. I mean they could put a city in there if they really wanted to. That's OD work though, bro. I don't know. Nah, hey, they making shit nah, like that. Listen, putting something on the ground I feel like it's low key kinda kinda crazy because what if an earthquake happens? Like what about I feel like they have good structure though. Like you ever like you ever seen like bunkers? Yeah, I feel like ain't no structure going with like a fat ass earthquake. Especially if you're in that shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, it. I mean, I think it. I think that's why they, they put certain bunkers in like areas where there's not a lot of earthquakes, mm. like shit like that, like like in like the Midwest. I don't bro. think there's really bunkers. There's really bunkers like that over there. Imagine putting. He said New York City in a cave. That's a fat ass cave. That's what I'm saying. That shit's huge, bro. I heard there's like a whole bunch of like unexplored like caves. I think it's like across the U.S. And like 17 unexplored fat caves. That's low key a lot, bro. If mm-hmm. you think about caves, could go for miles long. Bro. I know, and I heard like you you seen the map, right? It's like the it's like the cave system in the United States, and that shit like lines up with like how many like missing people there is. Yo, so what? There's like something living in them caves, bro. Bro, not nah, definitely. I think it's like something. You ever seen a movie? I think it's called Descent. Descent is that the shit where they got trapped in the with in the, the miners they got in the in the cave, and there's like fucking like humanoid people that's like vampire looking at people that's like stuck in the cave, bro, and they're like eating them and shit like that. Really? That's a yeah. movie. I never heard of that. I think it was, it, was, it was like people. I guess they like got trapped in there over time. Yeah, and they just fucking they just like became evolved like, in some bullshit. Nah, just imagine like there's that's like what I'm saying, bro. Like like I was gonna ask you this before. Like, do you think that like the government is like hunting down monsters? Like not as in like. Like some Frankenstein shit, right? Not I like look, Frankenstein. Look, well, like them creepy little monsters, right? Yeah, like any, like maybe in the, cause like, like do you think they're hunt like hunting down shit behind our backs, like either in the forest and the oceans and the freaking? I think there's like, yeah, like type of fucking like creatures that that we didn't that we weren't supposed to know about mm-hmm. that were probably sometimes extinct and then motherfuckers keeping them in a lab, all that oh, shit trying lab, to run, that'd be crazy. trying to run tests on them, I even trying to reproduce that. them. Nah, see, I feel like. Nah, I think there's a lot. They did a lot of like experiments that got like set free, like into the woods and shit like that. But also, there was like a, I remember they did like a a bomb testing site, bomb testing yeah. over off the coast of like Florida, and it was like a forty thousand ton bomb, and they dropped it in the water, and it was radiation. Yeah, and it was like this. I think that shit was cost like like millions of dollars, and they said, oh, we're just um testing it, testing um the durability of our ships. But then they seen a picture and the ship was behind the bomb. So the bomb didn't hit the ship. So they was wondering why they just like blew up like random. Like they water. killed her. Yeah, they killed, blew up random water. They killed hella wildlife for no reason. And Man. they say something came up from like the bottom of the ocean. It was like coming toward Florida. And like you ever, you remember that part? 
I think it was like years ago it's during the like Godzilla. I don't shit. know what the fuck, bro. bro. It's funny because that Godzilla shit, all that shit revolves on them niggas being big because they're hella radiation they're attracted to. So don't yeah. motherfuckers dropping bombs in the ocean is already bad enough. That's what I'm saying. A forty thousand ton bomb. You know that how shit, big that, that is. That shit could make fucking animals like change in in, in a way, bro. That's what I'm saying. And it doesn't kill them exactly. So like like why would you just drop that shit in the ocean for no reason? You know how much money that is. So they probably fighting something. And like no, they, they they knew what they were doing. I thought like they were probably trying to attract something. Either you didn't attract or kill something. I think they tried. They was killed. They was fighting some nah, shit. They ain't trying to kill. They trying to they trying to lure. Oh, they trying to lure that nigga. They trying to lure that shit. They want people to see it. Nah. And be like. Oh, you know nothing about it. Nah, like, yeah, fuck out of here. And then like you, you ever seen in the Gulf of Mexico? There was like a, there was like a video like in the water. There was like fire in the water. Did you ever see that shit before? Nah. Now nah, look that shit up right now. Like I, like I don't have it on me, but I like mean, I don't, only know about that shit happened last time I seen that shit. Was like it was because it was hella oil on the on the. But I think that yeah, I think it's that one. Like it's like a big ball of like a circle of like. Wait, fire. I think know what you're talking about now. I think I seen that shit with what it was like. It was like a ring of fucking fire. Yes, shit, in the right? ocean. In, in the ocean, right? And niggas was like spraying water into the fire. And it wasn't going away. Yeah, that makes no sense. How is there a fire in the water? I think I think it was from like an oil spill, low-key. Some type of oil. Don't forget, bro. Putting water on oil, on oil does not put that shit out low-key. That, that's true. Oh, yeah, that is kind of true. But still, that shit looks and, crazy, and, and though. Especially if it's, hella, if it's hella oil and it's thick as fuck, that shit could take a minute. You low-key got to scoop that shit out. I don't and, know, and just bro. and like put that shit out like with, her, with like condensing that shit. That shit looks that shit looks crazy. That shit like a imagine, portal to the underworld, my nigga. Imagine, bro. I don't know. And then like you know how they be talking about like monsters and like the little folklore, like the Native Americans talk about seeing these things like in the woods and shit like that. Like I, I think I think them them I feel like them ancestors that be saying all that random animal shit. I think dumb shits are real. That's what I'm saying. Like why would they I just talk my, about that? I feel like my ancestors because they don't got like fucking. You know, we got asked to all this random like resources to make shit look real, make yeah. fake. I feel like when they were saying that shit back in the day, like, yo, and they drew that shit out, that was dead ass there. Like, you know how they be talking about like, you know, say like Bigfoot and shit like that. Like, they draw Bigfoot in their books and they pass it down to their kids. Bro, like them Asian, like them, I know them, them old school, like Asian drawings, them Chinese drawings when they used to draw them. Crazy looking dragons, them animal shits. That's what I'm saying. Well, those shits are high key real, bro. The way they was drawing shits in the book, bro. Because there's no way niggas just make shit up like that for no reason. Especially back in the day, bro. Nowadays, people gonna do it because, oh shit, I get, I get money for that. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Not, back but in the day, motherfuckers didn't give a fuck. These niggas was actually like experiencing shit like that. Like the Bigfoots. And, and over freaking, here, bro, they, they was living out there in, 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 in the In the woods, so bro. They, 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 they saw all that, bro. Bro, like in the woods, like that shit be creepy in the woods. People be getting, going missing in the woods all the time, bro. Like imagine there's some big shit in Yo, there. Yo, imagine how many, how many missing people were back in the day days, bro. Oh, with that now, bro. now you could get in a way tracked, but back in the day, I feel like... You're, oh, you it was, just gone, it was bro. Done? Oh yeah, it was over. I thought you you were treated like like animal food, <laughs> or you just, you're just consumed at the end. Bro. You think they was giving out like uh, uh, sacrifices and shit just to make sure? Yeah, bro. Like I remember, I was watching a video. It was like on YouTube of like there was remember them shits we used to watch on YouTube, the little creepy shits mm -hmm. on the dark web. So I was watching something the, the other day, and it was about I think it was a lake in I forgot what it was. It was like a lake in Europe or something like that. And a girl would always go there to like you know go hang out and stuff. But one night she went and she would hear like a bell, like a random ding of a bell, and then she's walking the trail, and then she sees like a dead like um raccoon on the thing, but it looked like somebody took his heart out. Nigga, what? So she, so, so she just she she bypassed that. She keeps going, but she keeps hearing like a bell, like a ding. I'm turning home, ding, bro. Bro, and then she's so she's walking. So she got scared. She went to the lake. She got scared. She comes back, and then she seen the raccoon on the floor. It was hanging on a tree, like like hung on the tree. Like somebody put it there. Like probably like two hours later. So and nobody goes in the them woods because like only she knows where the lake is. So then she goes. She gets like to this opening in the woods. And like this tall ass shit with the bell on its like, on waist. its waist comes out, and then she turns around, starts running, and then she can hear like the bell going like faster because that nigga's like chasing after oh, her. Oh, that shit gave me goosebumps. Bro, I was about like, that. imagine that shit was you, my nigga. I don't think I would have died. I ain't gonna lie. That's too much anxiety for me, my nigga. Bro, oh Jesus, I'm throwing a kick and I'm dipping on me. What bro. you gonna kick that nigga for? You gonna dodge <laughs> that shit? <laughs> Niggas ain't gonna if fight you dodge back. Dodge it, bro. Then we'll turn right back around, bro. I'm telling you. Any scenario where there's a life or death where people gotta run, I'm really gonna be out, bro. I know how to run fast, like, <laughs> bro. You gotta take long strides. Even if you got little legs, take long strides. You're gonna cover the ground, longest bro. strides you possibly can, bro. The, the, the more ground you cover, bro. Hey, bro. I'm, bro. Learning, I'm learning track, bro. You all going back to your track days, bro? Co cover hella ground. <laughs> Spread them legs, bro. Hey, bro. 
But all I'm saying is, bro, these there's there's a reason why these niggas is writing, drawing all these weird ass little creatures in their books and their religion, in like the Bible and shit like that, bro. Like especially all the little random monsters that they be having there, like the Cyclops. Mm-hmm. Not Cyclops. Cyclops is OD. I don't think that shit was real. Nah. That shit was a stretch. Maybe maybe there was some shit though that had like, one eye though. Yeah, maybe, but it probably wasn't that big. They probably gassed it. Maybe like maybe yeah. you think the Kraken could have been real. Like at one point, I think the crack was basically just a, a fucking giant big ass squid, ass, like squid. Yeah, type I shit, think bro. so. Cause he, I feel like that Moby Dick was real though. Oh, the the whale that um, like it was, I think it was like a big ass killer or sperm whale or some other whale that used that was um fighting. What well, I forgot how the it was, was like fighting, fighting like the, it was just fucking a fisherman, bro. Oh my god, just a yo, like I'm not gonna lie, that should be mad scary, bro. Just no, 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 I think. Like if whales were like aggressive, no, 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 I think there's, I think a squid or a giant crab would be more scary than a than a, than a whale, bro. Really? A giant? Okay, a giant crab is crazy. Like you talking about for like Moana no, or some shit? No, nah, look, because I seen this show. I don't know if we talked about it or not. Uh, what is it called? It's called Love Death Robot. Oh, I, I seen that before. You know, I, about the yeah, crab I, I the seen. Boat? I didn't watch the whole shit, but I know what you're talking about. Bro, imagine that shit—a big ass crab that just climbs on your boat. And now it's taking over everybody. It's just and the way, only way to keep it. From killing you is feeding it people. That's OD, bro. But like, you, that's more scary than a, than a, a whale, bro. You know how big whales are. Oh, nigga, this motherfucker could have just turned up. <laughs> he said, "If you want to live, bro, feed me some of your people." And he nah. was dead ass throwing his people in the cellar, bro, feeding the crab. Well, how he, big he, was the crab? Is as big as his room? Yeah, bro. Nah, that's OD. That's a big ass crab. Or it might be like thicker, bro. That shit was big as fuck, bro. You gotta watch that. You gotta watch that. That's, that's why shit I'm crazy. That's why I'm so glad some animals are the way they are because like, if a whale was aggressive, bro. That shit would like I would not want nah, to go in the waters, bro. bro. I think animals are gonna get bigger as time goes on. I don't know, bro. I think I think it depends on especially like the, the little ones. I I think it depends on the atmosphere, though. I feel like the like because like you know I heard like when the atmosphere is like more like pure with like oxygen, that's when things was bigger. Like back in the days, like yeah, but you know we sucked up all the damn oxygen to be honest. So that's why they ain't growing. That's why I feel as though not to sound crazy, if they if we end up getting wiped out. Animals, whatever's come next is gonna be a way bigger version than whatever. Oh, it's gonna be like giants, like giant animals. Yeah, I and think shit? so. I don't know, bro. Because I just saw some shit on Instagram too. It was like, a the they just detected some shit past that. The sun was like a planet killer asteroid. I seen that. That's od. That's kind of scary, bro. Hey, bro. Because like you know, like I remember they was t- like, like they said that shit was like a mile long, and that shit was like blocking blocked by the sun. You know how fucking big that shit that shit is, bro. That this shit that shit's like the that biggest shit, thing we've that seen. Shit, that shit could literally pierce through, through through the world through the world, bro. That's what I'm saying. But but like you know, there's like a there was that's a, like that's like dropping like fifty nukes, bro, at once or maybe worse. Nah, that's way worse than that, nigga. That shit going <laughs> that shit going just that shit's just going to rip literally, through our planet, bro. Literally, it's like someone just throwing a fat ass rock at the, at the planet, bro. <laughs> imagine like that's somebody like <laughs> yo, that's what I'm thinking is, bro. Just throw a fat ass rock at us, bro. Yo, imagine like the universe is just like. It's just like a big world, and like we're just like a hanging there's, thing. There's definitely like invisible people that are just throwing shit from just them, throwing shit at us, just throwing shit at us, nah, throwing bro. shit, bro. But but with like that big rock thing, there was a there's, there's people that believe that there's like you know how there's always like a major reset for everything, like what, what the like in like you know that like the like the meteor like there was a flood back in the days, yeah. So like every so supposedly every three thousand years, a planet the size of our planet comes around like it's coming around it comes around the sun. It's on like its own axis. And it hits us, and that's what—that's the same planet that helped form the moon. Wait. So they're thinking that maybe that asteroid is that planet coming around to reset everything, because like, because we always get to a certain certain. Wait, is this a three thousand year mark? It might be. That's <laughs> no. what I'm saying. Because they never—they didn't say how long the the asteroid is gonna come. Because I think uh, I know I know you're talking about though how like we basically we low key Earth formed from low key like a fat ass meter. Yeah, I think that's what. We, oh no, uh, the moon formed from the meter. Like every three thousand years, it like hits us. So like that's why every like every civilization talks about a major reset like the ash maybe that's the big ass asteroid bro, that killed the dinosaurs, asked, though, bro. Because you know what's asked about it, bro. We can't leave no we can't even leave no real evidence behind, bro. That's on. Hey, that's why. I, Unless somebody puts like a motherfucking big ass space station, but I doubt that shit gonna happen for like another I, while. I don't bro. know, bro. Like they but say, I think I can I can see that shit happening. What a fat ass space station. Oh what? like like fucking like Wally? Some Wally. Nah, <laughs> like they gonna put uh, maybe they could. They might put us up there. You going up there? Nah. Uh, if if my life depends on him, I'm gonna have, have to. You can, motherfuckers gonna be. Like, you gonna return back? I don't think I'm gonna be allowed around? up there, bro. Because well, I think only the the more important people go up there. <laughs> yeah, you got finesse up there, bro. Oh, you got finesse your way up there. I don't you imagine know, they bro. put you on the chair too, bro. 
Well, what, like, get fat as fuck, bro? Nah, I don't want to be on that chair, bro. Like, I don't like that. That's the only reason. Like, that shit, <laughs> ah. Like, but we low-key get into that shit, bro. Like, laziness. Nah, I think I think around uh, when we hit, like, our 40s, we're going to see we're gonna see how, how different the world is going to be. I think That's 20 too. years from now, bro. Yeah, I know. Dang, Yay. bro. I'm going to be 43, bro. I'm going to cry. <laughs> 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 just felt old. But, hey, bro, I hope that shit isn't going to happen. Hopefully... If that How shit about happens, it don't happen when we alive? That's what I'm saying. As long as that shit don't happen when we alive, Anybody I'm good. Anybody bro, bro. y'all can have all that, bro. Yeah. So, uh, damn, not your, your grandkids? Free them niggas, bro. You better go to that space station, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. But, um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, so I got a question, right? So, since we were talking about war before, right? So, would you rather... So, for $100 million, would you rather have to tr- try to survive Hell Week? You know, the Navy SEAL Hell Week? You got three tries. If you don't, you die. Or you have to survive a battle in World War II. Oh, I'm doing that Navy shit, bro. You think you can survive that shit? I'm not going to World War II, bro. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you got to think about it. Do you think you could survive a, a hell week, one week? Nah. Yeah, and you said if I don't survive, right? You die. You said for three weeks? No, you got three tries. Oh, if it's three tries, then I think I could do it then, bro. Do you know there's a point where you can't sleep for five days straight? That's, that's how the training goes? Yes. Like, you can't sleep. Niggas be hallucinating. They be like, yo, is that a UFO? They're like, nah, you but like Nah, you, you lying. I promise bro. you, bro. That's like, how they training goes. Yes, you gotta but can't sleep for five days. You can't sleep for five days and you still do like the the running miles, the swimming, the rowing boats, Nigga, all that, that is training. Crazy endurance, bro. That's, Nigga, five bro, that they're the best of the world, bro. That is fucking up your mental, bro. Or it's a random battle in World War Two. So you might get some light shit or you might get D Day. D Day is crazy. <laughs> D Day is, is D Day is nuts. I'm bro. not gonna lie. I don't know how people <laughs> survive that, bro. Like, the people that made it out alive, yo, you are fucking blessed. You really are, bro. Like, like I don't know if the movie portrays it as good I, as I it think, I think, like, a good, like, you have a good 8 out of 100 chance of surviving that shit. 8 out of 100? Like, 8%? 8% out of 100. Bro, they, they literally just set fire as soon as the bro, doors open. Bro, it's just open. a fat-ass open film just random bullets. So, like, you just <laughs> shot from, like... Anywhere. You can be going on that 10 kill street. Boop, boop, boop. Make one shot. <laughs> boop. It's over, bro. <laughs> you go act nah. I'm, yeah, kill streak is over. It ain't no responder, bro. You can't call that UAV. Ain't <laughs> so you gonna do? I'll do. I'll do Navy SEAL, bro. Cause nobody, nobody trying to take me out. And if I take my, and if I die, it's cause I took myself out. Respect. For oh, me. so it's respect. <laughs> ah, that's tough. I, I ain't took, gonna lie. That's that means tough. I'm, that means I'm pussy. That means I ain't really. I, that means I. I wasn't oh, he said out. you pussy. <laughs> I mean, if I make it, that means I'm pussy. And I wasn't meant to be. Here, bro. <laughs> uh, you might have convinced me. Cause I was gonna if, do World bro, War. Bro, look, look, if you can't do the Navy SEAL. The Navy SEAL training shit, you ain't doing D Day, bro. <laughs> oh, but it's a random battle. I could have the lightest one where it's like last a day. Nigga, what battle is light in World War II, bro? I don't know. And then, I right, Christmas Day. What, what happened? I forgot what happened in Christmas. Bro, literally, I right, Christmas, <laughs> Christmas Eve, I think it was Christmas Day, Christmas Eve to the day after Christmas, the day after Christmas Day. They had put like a Christmas tree up. They were giving gifts to each other shit. The enemies. Next day, motherfuckers start throwing grenades at each other. <laughs> what? I this is in World God, War II? I think that was like the dead man's or whatever, bro. They had like a fight. You know, they had the, the trenches and shit. Yeah. Soon Christmas, when it was Christmas, the, the enemies came. I was reading upon that shit, like watching videos. They was like, you know, saying what's up to each other. And her, some of them was crying and shit like, yo, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> shit like that. Shit, shit got hella sentimental. Then after that, niggas went, went nah. right back into combat, bro. Damn. Imagine piecing your enemy up before you blick him, bro. <laughs> what was it? The Japanese that did that shit? Or was the German? No, nah, I, I, I think that was the Germans in the U.S. or like or like German and like uh, Br- oh, and like Great British. Oh. It might be one of those. I think yeah. it, was, it was Germany doing somebody though. Nah, that's old. Nah, hold up. Cause that- what? You dabbing me up for Christmas and you throw grenades at me, bro? <laughs> that's OD. But what if I get Pearl Harbor? I think I could survive Pearl Harbor. It's called Christmas Truce. Christmas Truce? Who was it between? That's OD, bro. What the fuck? Christmas shoes was a series of widespread unofficial ceasefire along the Western Furs on around Christmas 1914. Oh, this okay. So this is World War One, though. That's World War One. Yeah, this is World War One. I, I think. Oh, this is the French and the German. All right, so I'm good. Shit, that's old, that's OD, bro. Bro, man, that's crazy, though, right? Yeah. Was, it was good. Truce, real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Next day, bro. That's evil. That's why they make rules for war, bro. Cause you can't do shit like that. That's too. Tri- that's too. Uh, like, like, look, I heard that, like they was playing games with each other and stuff. That's why the, Oh my god Yo bro. I'm going home but Yeah I'm gonna sneak out bro I'm sober <laughs> bro Playing Nah That's creepy bro I can't I don't know how motherfuckers Just so casually 
laugh at each other and then blink each other right after, bro. Hey, bro, them niggas is brainwashed. Bro, I'm be mad if I just died. You, we had a tough ass game. You was on my team, and then you hit me with a mortar strike. That's so disrespectful. Hit me bro. with a mortar strike is crazy. <laughs> All right, bro. But I think I think hell, I'll try hell week. And that, yeah, you heard what I said though, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's that's respect. That's, if, that, that's on me. Now. If you can't if you can't make it, bro, you. you Feel me? And you ain't making it World War Two, bro. So, <laughs> All right. Um, what are the questions I have? Oh, I got I got something to talk about. So I think I think aliens will be common, like like they'll be able to live with us in the next hundred years. Or it'll be it'll start being more common in the next hundred years. Do you know do you know why I say that? Why do you say that? Because you know, you know NASA is starting to they're making they made a new like UFO like space project thing. Like how? Like they're right. studying UFOs and they have like, you know, scientists, they have biologists. But I they thought, I thought they've been low key been doing it. So you think they low key got like actual alien like like DNA so that they could run tests on this shit? I don't think they have that, but I think see this is what I think. Or they got their technology maybe. I think they have all this stuff already. Like I think there's all this stuff is happening already, but they're just trying to trying to like get us used to it. You or, know what I'm saying? We're trying to they, you, like, can, you just can't throw aliens at people and just let them like no, be like, oh, that's okay. You gotta like make them used to it. So you gotta. So this. But like, how how would you break it to it? I'm like, yo, this big motherfucker's just stalking us in the air. We don't even know. So this look, motherfuckers got cloaking devices. Like, so this this though this the whole plan, right? So like with the 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 freaking naval for with the um NASA UFO thing, they have people on salary for um what's it called for a space yeah, intergalactic space treaties. Intergalactic space. So, if, so if we need to write a treaty with the aliens, they have people on salary to write out treaties for them, just for like peace and shit. Oh, like to make sure you bro, like chill out. Bro. Yeah. So, like, if they have people on salary for that, like you're getting paid to make a treaty with aliens, then that them shits have to be real. Well, so wait, that's a real like that's a job, real thing. Yeah, it's bro. a real job. Like, look at I seen it on I looked up on Google. That was a real thing, bro. It's called an intergalactic space treaty. It's called um, what is it called? They're called um, space treaty drafters. Space treaty drafters. What? Yeah, so you draft uh, treaties for aliens. Like, look up NASA UFO research team or some shit like that. Bro, there's, like, there's so much more. Oh. This is... Who created the space treaty? United States and Soviet Union. That's what I'm saying. So there's yeah, a space... what the tre- fuck? So they got shit like that. So this is how the, the whole thing is going to work, right? So eventually, over the next hundred years, we're gonna start seeing more and more UFO sightings, and it's already starting now. Know I, no, I think that you know, like a while back, I think it was like nineteen something. What we sent out, we sent out like a like a satellite. I forgot what the fuck it was, and it contained, uh, like, like all of human life, bro. Like from how we were born. How is it we, like a? It's like a hard drive, or is it just like DNA? I think it's like a like I think it's a bunch of stuff in there. I think it got like a hard drive. I think it got like fucking. Probably magazines in there. Fucking, I think it has like. Oh, it's a, like a care package. In a way of like how fucking, we are, how we are, whatever, and it like sent it out, and so whoever fucking picks that shit up, it's just, and like while it's going through space, it has a record playing. Really? Yeah, like that's a, tough. Like a, like, a, like a music playing, so like whoever hears that shit. What the fuck? That's yeah. od. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot what the fuck you can look up though, bro. I feel like that shit happened like Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, it definitely, that shit's cool as fuck though. So basically, whoever picks that shit up. It's just gonna yeah, find out about the gotta, history of the. Gotta holler back though, bro. There's no point of grabbing that shit and knowing just yeah. I heard they like I heard because like so like like this is the whole process of how we're gonna be integrated with aliens, right? So UFOs are gonna be more common. Like we're gonna start seeing them eventually. So like even in Canada, I think Canada did a study and they they um. I mean they got Area 51 over there, bro. What in Canada? I no, think no, I said Arizona. Yeah, but I think there's an Area 51 like everywhere, low key type low of key? type of thing. Type of base. Yeah, type of base. But it's like so in Canada, they they re, they um they got, they, that, sh- they got that shit over there in the mountains. They done right? seen like they have a record of how many like UFOs they seen over the past year. It's like three per day. Three per day. Yes, like there's like a study, like they did like the like the data and shit like that, and like they've been seeing it more and more and more. Wait, is it dumb? Is it dumb seeing it or like people like like them- people like like um eyewitnesses seeing? They oh, see they like, like just call it. Oh, yeah. hello, I see. Yes, and it's that- been more frequently, so we're gonna see more UFOs, and then eventually a big ass like event's gonna happen. Either the aliens are gonna come down, or we're gonna be fighting them niggas. Right, like in the freaking movies type shit. Yeah, I remember that one movie I seen them. The alien, you know, talking about the motherfuckers have brains and shit. Which one was that? It's like a, it's like an old ass alien movie. You talking about um, some Independence Day? Nah, I was talking about before that, but Independence Day is actually crazy. Yo, that was a fat ass fucking spaceship. That's bro. what I'm saying. And motherfucker put a beam down, started racing. Imagine, bro. That's what I'm saying. That shit like that would happen. 
And then, but we're going to overcome it to show that, nah. okay, we're good now. What would you do in a situation where you look up in the sky and now you see a fat ass laser beam literally ripping through the streets, bro? Nigga, I'm running. But like, I get, like, what, like, what <laughs> can I do? I can't, I will fight back. I uh, like, say, all right, where we're standing, we're outside in front of your house. Yeah. And you see the beam where my house is at. You're going to try to run? Hell yeah. But what if I'm it's what well, if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's big, then it's D. Like, what if it's Loki coming in fast as fuck? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try to get out, bro. I gotta try. As long as I go out trying, you gotta, bro. You gotta maneuver around that shit. Hey, bro. Or am I Loki just? What you gonna what? Just see, fuck it, bro. Oh, you just gonna t- just I, take the L, bro. I ain't gonna run, bro. That shit was OD. That shit was just like tearing through like New York City, right? That shit was, bro. Nah, bro. People were getting like, oh, I see them evaporate, bro. That shit's crazy. I don't know, bro. I feel like technology is that is real. I feel like even we low key got some technology like that, like some laser evaporating shit. No, I mean we definitely got shit like that, but they're they not telling us that shit. Bro, I seen a lighter. It uses lasers to light the cigarette and shit, bro. So you think they don't got a fucking bigger version to shit? Bro, sh- they just don't tell us that shit because you can't have it fall into the wrong hands. You know what I'm saying? Niggas go that shit gonna fall into North Korea. Like, yeah, that shit no I can't crazy. even speak on that nigga name. We get. Fuck them niggas on the streets we're gonna be blicking motherfuckers with laser well, guns, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's a crazy, that's a crazy nah, world we live in. I've been seeing people go like crazy with weapons lately, bro. Hey, bro. But oh wait, oh let me let me let me finish the the thing with the the aliens thing. So like so after all that happens, we're gonna fi- then we're gonna start realizing there's gonna be pe- there's people that lived amongst us that were aliens. Cause like you know there's a there's there's a whole thing that goes that there was a guy that lives that works in. Like the Pentagon, that was like a that's an actual alien. That's why we have awesome, all the technologies. Awesome, awesome shape shifting shit. Yes, because like you ever there's I think the government like put out like a picture of like the aliens that so called that we know of, and there's one alien that looks just like us, and there's a guy that that works with the government. His name's like Valiant one, Thor. One of them could be the, the Men in Black, bro. Hey, you never know, bro. That's what I'm saying. This they're just gonna make it. They're making. They're giving us all these movies. To desensitize it to us So when it actually so happens it, it, So it just be so natural Like oh There's an alien outside That's shit. what I'm saying We're just gonna be able to, Nah bro That's just gonna take a while bro. I, they, gonna take, they, I didn't say they, it's gonna take like two they years They need to pop out And be on some We're not a threat Type shit That's they, what I'm saying It's gonna take years It's gonna take some time All for that, that shit, shit Where they just looking at us And, and taking us And abducting us And then doing experiments But it was crazy That's hey, You bro. think that's just real they, they abduct Hmm Abduct people I heard low key I think so Cause I even heard like I think I heard like the Germans like back in World I War II. I've heard too much of it, bro. A what? The abductions? People getting abducted, abducted and stuff. I think they try not to talk about it too much. Imagine getting abducted and then that's just tracking. And you mean abducted? Nigga said abducted. Abducted. Nigga said abducted. Hey, motherfuckers, tracking you with your phone and shit on you in the spaceship. Imagine. You There's hear, no way. You hear? And I don't know if they see that they track the shit all the way in. in Oh, that's mine. I was about to say, no, <laughs> what's going on? Man? That's the that's the biggest stuff we got, bro. Fucking. And then you just end up in fucking India, bro. Imagine, imagine that shit happens within three minutes, bro. You just end up in India, bro. <laughs> Maybe that's what. I was, oh, but they drop you butt ass naked in India, bro. Loki, what if that happens like with homeless people? Like you know, when homeless people like they don't know. Nah, I feel like they don't they don't, they don't do like, homeless. Maybe people. like maybe something. No, like imagine it's like maybe it's like you. And they drop you off in like a whole other country, and now you're homeless. Oh, and like that, maybe that's what some homeless niggas, and that's why they sound crazy. Like the niggas that be talking about like, your aliens. That could be some shit. Bro. Cause like I heard in like World War Two, I guess like they said supposedly the Germans made a treat, made a deal with the aliens to like, like use their technology in exchange. They could like do experiments on us, like abduct us. Motherfucker set the world up for failure, bro. Because they want to use all their technology and shit like that. That'd be OD. Bro, and they basically just said, because they probably thought, oh, yeah, you probably just meant it for our people. Nah, bro. They meant it as they going to duck the whole world now, nah, bro. Mm-hmm. The whole world. Nah. I mean, they, slowly. Uh, what do you think they do? Like, do you think they just, like. I mean, I feel like they do They do max. I feel like they do weird shit. Like, like how's your throat work, bro? Just take some long ass. Nah. Throw, throw <laughs> me your throat Biggest, to see why your throat opens up. Why is it breathing? The- why, why is it breathing? So, I'm, they probably be thinking all of that shit, bro. Like, you know, like, you ever watch, like, the videos of people that say they, they probably, got abducted? Probably take all their teeth out like this. What the fuck is this in your mouth? I think they take, like, swabs. Like, you know how we, like, dissect animals? I think they do shit like that. Oh, my God. Imagine they dissect Oh, that's that. crazy. Why are you alive? Nah. Nah. No way, bro. No fucking way. So, so what year do you think will be like integrated with aliens? Like, what, like, if you can give a year? I think before the year three thousand. Before year three thousand, I say twenty one. Is it twenty one hundred? 
like when when it's two one zero zero, what would we call that year? Uh, because we used to call the year two thousand. So we're in the twenty first century. So that's the twenty second century. I believe that would be the twenty second century. So that would be because you know how we call it the two thousands. We're, we're gonna be like a, we're gonna be. Yeah, yeah, it is. Cause don't forget, it was like twenty one hundred. It was like one thousand, a thousand two hundred, thousand three hundred. But they no, they call it fourteen hundred. Huh? They say fourteen hundreds. Four fourteen hundreds. Nineteen hundreds. Eighteen hundreds. Nineteen hundreds. Two thousands. Twenty two thousand one hundreds. Twenty one hundreds. They're probably gonna say okay. Twenty one hundred. Okay, that's not bad. Twenty one. Twenty one hundred. That's three thousand. Three three thousand long ass way. And now that I think that's about a, that's a I thousand years. About, I think about like the. That's what I'm saying. That's a thousand years. I think yeah, about it. Thousand years. You think a thousand years? I think maybe. Oh uh, wait, I might be gas. But think about it. We started flying a hundred years ago. Look where we're at now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Just, wait, that's wait. I'm not. That, I'm not settling with this dating shit, bro. <laughs> the year a thousand now, bro. One thousand. A year a thousand, just the year a thousand. Yeah, one th- year one thousand, and then year two thousand. What was it, what was going on in that year, bro? Oh, I think that was Genghis Khan. That was like right before Genghis. So Khan. what the fuck is all that shit? Where it's like twenty twenty one B. Twenty one BC. That was before that. So that's like before Christ. So like before. So that's the before the Bible. The, that's before the year one thousand. That's before the year one. So like so it'd be like one AD, two AD, ten AD, and then before that, then it was like. I, that, I don't know That's how that's, it works It's that weird shit, That shit's confusing I don't man. get it That shit just be fucking Regardless my head up. of year 2100 I'm gonna be 100 years old Hey that's tough I line up with the years bro Hey bro You're too young for that bro <laughs> So Hold on What are the questions that I got Okay I got another I got another Would you rather question right So Would you rather Would you rather Have to fight 20 cats Or a flock of 120 geese 20 cats or a flock of a hundred, a hundred geese, a hundred and twenty geese, a hundred and twenty geese. I'm not gonna lie, cats are very vicious. Cats are very. You said twenty. I know. And then you said you said like fifty geese. I don't know why you said a hundred and twenty geese. So like a like a big ass flock of geese. You can get a weapon except a except Bro, a gun. Because I've seen people Loki trying to fight off cats and the motherfuckers. Bro, just... they. It's invasive. Them niggas bro, be invading, know, bro. Bro, they figure out they they did a study on cats and them niggas are actually like murderers, bro. Like you know when you know like stray cats or like cats that outside cats. Yeah, because they they do for that condition. Bro, they literally know. just go and kill like animals and just leave them there. They don't even eat the niggas. I'm gonna have to go with the. I might have to go with the. I'm gonna go with the geese. That's, <laughs> Yo, a that's, a, that's 120. That's a lot. Just imagine a bunch of flying. I right, no cats. Geese are I'm, big. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I might be a dickhead. No, nah, I'm gonna take them on all types of crazy. I'm gonna, I might grab one by the neck and just start it. He's just gonna, he's just gonna <laughs> start swinging around, bro. <laughs> no, like the cats is crazy to try to do, bro. It's hard to do that, bro. Twenty cats is a lot of cats. One, why are you trying to kick one other? One, one cat hurts. One cat gonna be climbing on your back, fucking. The thing is, bro, they gonna start biting your neck, bro. Yeah, I'm taking my chances with the geese. I'm taking my chances. I think I'm gonna take my chances with the geese too, bro. But I heard they got sharp ass fucking uh, flippers. Oh yeah, they got the little talons underneath them. Yeah, them shits are sharp, bro. Oh. And their teeth is—I heard their teeth low key kind of bitey, bro. A little sharp. I heard they had like human teeth. Or was that another thing? No, that's a fish. You ever seen the fish that got like human teeth? Yeah. They should. The niggas got like molars. <laughs> that shit look bad, ugly. <laughs> Those niggas are ugly, bro. Horse got human teeth, bro. Fuck they, that, be, bro. they be using horse teeth like with us. Horse teeth is fucking like Mr. Titus. Remember Mr. Titus? Titus. You Ta- from from gym class, gym teacher with a. T- Tall ass Titus with the horse teeth. Yo, I do remember that guy, <laughs> that bro. That nigga used to have his nigga used to have the fake, fake ass teeth, bro. She bro. was straight as hell, bro. I feel embarrassed for some big ass teeth, bro. You can't I, get teeth if you teeth are big. You can't get them smaller, right? Nah, I don't think so. No, nah, you. But I think he maybe, had. Maybe you could shave them. Down I think those are fake teeth, though. Veneers. Yeah, I think because I think he like broke his like teeth or something like that. All right, that's the case, and that's respectable. But. Yeah, but like, damn, you can't get like smaller teeth. Like, where the fuck you get them shits made? Like, the hell? That's some cheap ass fake nah, they teeth, fake, bro. bro. They fake, bro. Hey, bro. All right, so I got another would you rather question since we're talking about animals, right? So would you, so say both of these animals are like heavily populated around the world. So there's a lot of them. So would you rather live in a world where crocodiles can run as fast as cheetahs on land or where blue whales can fly or or a world where blue whales can fly and they can eat anything and they eat anything they see. Wait, hold the fuck up! You said t- you said crocodiles that can run 
as fast as cheetahs. Yes. And then flying whales that eat anything. Yeah, that sounds crazy down here again. <laughs> Blue whale? Blue whales, bro. That's the biggest any that's the biggest animal on earth. Or you, you want to that shit flying in the sky and it eats anything. Yes. Or you want to you want to take your chances with a crocodile. That's even wilder, bro. Cuz I ain't gonna lie crocodile on land is is mid, but what you what's that nigga nah, able to run? low key on even on Bro, you seen they run how they run? I know, they like gallop. Yeah, <laughs> they weird, bro. But they like galloping a, is weird, but bro. But imagine that shit is running faster. Imagine that nigga niggas running like a cheetah. Yo, cause they, nah, I think cheetahs, I heard, I think their speed from top up to like 60 or 80 miles per hour, bro. Okay, let me not say cheetah because that's OD. A crocodile that could run. Nah, stick with it, bro. I say, ah, right, Stick with it. the cheetah, bro. I, I don't, bro. Whales? Like I was talking about before, whales are scary. No, 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 I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a die, but I'm gonna do the crocodile. You gonna do the, the crocodile? The, a blue whale flying and it eats anything is ridiculous. You can <laughs> swallow all of us in this room, bro. Oh my god, I don't want to. But a crocodile. He's bigger than your house. But crocodile. He can just <laughs> go out, bro. <laughs> bro. And fly back up, bro. Like, like. But crocodiles is crocodiles is biggest. What fuck. a whales grow this mentality that they just want to. Drop on people and then fly away just for the fucks of it. Oh, just like drop, let's just land on just people. Just land on people. Oh. See what I mean, bro? What if they grow this mentality to be dickheads, bro, with their powers? Like oh. like orcas, bro. I feel like when an animal knows it's overpowered, it Loki use. Now nah, Loki, if a, if a, if a blue whale had the mind of an orca, I think we'll all be dead. I'm not even saying lie. orcas play with their food, bro. Like imagine a bro. You ever seen the videos of the whales that eat people by accident? Very really, like they like yeah they like. Come, they breach and stuff, and they yo, that shit is so scary, I bro. That shit, people came up then, but like, like it was, yeah, I think they spit them out though. But it's like, but the, just the fact that shit's happening, I would crazy. never go in the water again, bro. You see, like, did you see a video of that? Like, some lady, yeah. there's two ladies on a canoe, and the shit just came up and said, Shh, nah. Bro, but the only way to really know if it's gonna happen, I think out of nowhere, you just see hella birds flock in one little spot. No, I think it's the krill, like the little fish just start flopping oh, around. Oh, yeah, the fish because they're trying to run away. <laughs> see, that's the sh- that's the shit. So it's not even the whale's fault. Yeah, they're because eating. they can't. See. They're just trying to eat the food, but they just can't. Okay. It's just it's an accident. They're, but they're, they're fucking. But imagine eyes it's like on, literally the size of this right here. But imagine it's on purpose, <laughs> nigga. Imagine, Yo, nah, right. bro. But a crocodile oh, well, that's running that fast, bro. Because the, the the crocs mouth is is, is pretty. They gonna learn like, yo, this is mad easy. So this is what I think, right? I think the whale will be less painful though. He might just swallow you up. But the crocodile... I ain't dying in either, bro. There's no way I'm dying. I can't go out like that, bro. Bro, a crocodile chasing you as a cheater, bro. Nah, he's gonna kill me. Nah, you're gonna feel every... You're gonna feel him ripping all that. But the whale, though... I'm gonna pick the whale, Cause I, bro. Because the way that... I think that Tifa says, like, it's like hard-ass bristles low key, Yeah. Bro. So, like, just imagine, bro, bro just He's imagine. just going to swallow you, bro. That's, that's so ass to go out, bro. <laughs> that's so ass to go out, bro. You had, you, you're going to, like, slowly just... Star death in his in his body, or Boom. he might just burn his. Imagine acids. them niggas migrate, and you just see a flock of whales. Yo, that's this sounds crazy. nuts. Like just hear like niggas that's listening to this bro, right now is gonna hear think, this shit. <laughs> people think, are those shits bigger than planes, bro? Them shits, I think, grow like maybe like sixty to eighty bro, feet. Loki maybe a hundred. I don't know. Bro, you might gotta look that shit up. Are blue whales bigger than planes, bro? How big are they? An average blue whale can grow up to 98 feet. 98? Why didn't they just say 100, bro? Just round up. <laughs> <laughs> like, just round up. They just blew 400,000 pounds. This is equivalent to three long school buses or one full plane. Three long school? Nah, one that's one OD. Yeah, plane. I'm a... Ah, fuck, I don't want to... I'm going to have to pick the crocodiles, bro. That's big as hell. I'm doing the croc, bro. It's, it's over, bro. See, 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 God knew... That's crazy to look at in the sky, too, bro. Oh, yeah, look, he's nice. He's like, yeah. See, God knew to make the biggest animal not as, like, aggressive. Low key, bro. Stay in water, bro. <laughs> let, let them stay in water. Let them not eat humans. Cause if they really wanted to, they could kill us all. I don't even think they got a they got a, a predator really. Cause like, I mean, not really. I think they just live a normal life. Nobody's gonna who's gonna eat that. I mean, yeah, maybe a shark, a shark eats them, but it's like when that shit dies out though. Low key. Yeah, maybe like when they die or like when they're babies. Only yeah, when they babies. Cause I think orcas low key be fucking with them. With what the? Oh yeah, I could I could like drowns them. I could believe that. Imagine that shit, bro. Orcas is evil, Fuck bro. The orca drawn on the blue whale's baby, bro. That's so evil, bro. Bro, even a blue whale's baby is like Loki the size of this room, bro. Them shits is huge. They're coming out now. Nah. They're coming out the womb this big. <laughs> nah, that's OD. Nah. That's, oh, they they knew whoever made us knew what they was doing with that shit, bro. All right. Oh, okay. I got a I got a good story to tell you, 
and it's like it's the it's one of the creepiest shit I creepiest and most disturbing things I heard of. I wa- I was watching it on um I was listening on a podcast the other day. Why? So it's called so it's called I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you some, I'm not gonna say what it's called because it's a surprise. So so this is a it's a it's a guy named Carl right. So all his life he's an immigrant. All his life when he was a boy he used to have visions when he goes to sleep of his his dead relatives bringing him like his dream girl, which is a uh, exotic woman with dark hair, right? So, alright, we got to slow it down. He had dreams about his dead ancestors. Will come and bring him his dream girl, which is a girl with dark hair and is an exotic woman, right? Okay. So some Amazon. Some Am- yeah. So he moves to America, right? And he wor- he starts working at a hospital, and then one day a, a a girl, a woman, and her daughter walk in because her daughter's sick, and the daughter. Is exactly what the, his visions were like. Ex- Wait, so when they bring him the girls, right? Would it be the same girl? Yeah, or, same exact girl. Same exact or girl. Would it be like just different girls that have an ideal look? Like he doesn't like know specifically, but he just knows it's an, an exotic, idea, an, an, idea an idea of the woman. What, what he wants. Okay. Yeah. So when the late when the lady brings her daughter in, it's exactly what Carl wants in a woman. Like exactly what the vision. So he thinds like this is his. This nigga got horny, bro. Yo, you? od. <laughs> So he's like, he's like, yo, so this is, this is my girl. Like, like it's God sent me this woman for to be me. So he falls in love with this girl. Right? Yo, hold on. Imagine really saying that shit about a girl. You lay your eyes on her first time, bro. Yo, she's everything I ever wanted to be, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to just go for this girl, bro. Bro. Oh my, niggas is crazy, bro. And this is like in the, I think this is in the 60s, 60s something is like it that. Is it 60s? 1960s, right? People were just crazy. So he's, he's an immigrant. So like, so the girl end up having, um... What'd she have? Let me look this. I think I wrote it down here. She had disease? She she got she was sick. She had um Oh, this man's sick, bro. She had tuberculosis. What is that? It's like something with your respiratory system where you can't breathe too much. She and had, she and had back asthma? worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> so back then that shit was really bad. Yeah, so like motherfuckers had no antibodies. Nothing. Yeah, bro. So like so once he found out, he made it his soul jer- like journey. journey to like keep her sick. No, not keep her sick, like to save her. All oh, about to nah, save, bro. Like it was, it was his. Like he thought it was his purpose in life was to, to keep her, her, to cure her. So he would come over to his house, basically being a simp, coming over to his house, coming over to her house all the time, taking care of her, buying her things. He actually told her he loves her. Wait, I right, so in this story, did they tell you how how old he is compared to the girl? No, nah, yeah, same age, same age, same age. Yeah, but look, hold on. So it, like, so like the purpose, uh, him coming to her house, like what? Her he's trying. He's tr- her he's, mom lets him come over. That's her boyfriend now. They got. They, he got her he's number. He's trying to. He's trying to like make sure she's well, so they can like, so he can be together, right? Okay. But she ends. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, actually, this was like in the. This was in the. This was in the thirties, not in the sixties. So she. That's even worse. Yeah, exactly. The, the, more, the more back, the more worse she gets. They bro. didn't have no medicine, so he's coming over to the house. Uh, giving her gifts, flowers, treating her, giving her medicines from the hospital. I was climbing and, through the window, bro. Bro, he was being. Ultimate simp, and then she ends up dying in 1931. Right? Ooh, I feel like I know where you might go. All right, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, so he's heartbroken. He pays for the funeral. He pays for like you know the little um above ground caskets, like mm-hmm. the, the little mausoleums. He pays for that. So he would go to her every day and just sit by her mausoleum crying until one day he had a vision of her saying, "Take me out of the mausoleum." No, bro. Wait, wait. Come he on. said, "Take." She said, "Take me home." He he goes in there, robs the grave, takes her body out, and she's already decaying. It's been like months, so he uses like wires to put the bones together. He uses like paper mache to wrap the, the decaying skin, and he just sprays it with perfume every day so she don't stink. And I don't know what he does with this woman for years, bruh. He just has her in the crib. And t- wait, wait, years? Yes, years. Like she, he had her in the crib for maybe like. Two, three years. Fuck, and nobody found, knows. Until her sister got like a rumor saying that, oh, he, uh, Carl done dug up your sister. And then he she confronted him and found out. And then they called wait, the cops on her. Wait, his her sister heard about the rumor from somebody? Yeah, heard the rumor. Like I guess his neighbors were saying, like, oh, we've been seeing Carl with like a like a weird looking body in his room. And we don't know if like cause like he used to like your sister a lot. And we don't know if he actually did that, but it was like a rumor until she went there and actually found the body and she called the cops. So he got arrested for like up like the Bro, that's like disturbing Loki though. Disturbing the peace, bro. bro. Yo, <laughs> he's did, I don't death. know what he's been doing with the with the bro, you know what he was doing? I don't know. You know what he was doing, bro. Yo, you know what he was doing. I, yeah, hey, he was people, crazy. you know what he was doing. That's sick though. A bro, dead body, bro. You know, he, bro. What's that called again? Bro, I don't I don't know what that's called, bro. It's called something. I can't remember. He got 
he got that he got that that thingy thing on his thing now, bro. Yo, he burning now, bro. Yo, he's I don't know I don't know if he got it anymore, bro. But like, look, it gets even weirder. No, nah, so, boy, if he caught that shit back in the days, bro, he's out. But he, he he's out within like three months, bro. He bro, got he got an STD, bro. Cool. I don't know what he got, bro. It was like in like the thirties or some shit. But then so they call him lacking. So they call him lacking. They they arrested him, but then they don't bring him to jail because they say he's insane. So now he gets uh, set free, right? But I mean, low-key, that's the constant scene. But then, but then, I guess years later, no, wait, wait, years later, they they got a report from his house that he was found dead. And he's been dead in the crib for like a month. And then the the, the um the cops were searching the crib, and they found another body in there. But they don't, but it's like paper mache. So they don't know if he created another girl or if he, because like after that, they, they, um, they, Buried the girl's body in like a private location. Oh, they buried her body again. Yeah, but they don't know if he found it and was hiding the body again this whole time. So oh, he found another. Like he, so they saying that he probably dug that shit up again. They either he either dug it up, dug up the thing again, or he made up a, a whole nother like like a replica of her out of like paper mache and shit, and then he just like died, like he just died like trying to love this. Yo, that's low key on some. Just a mad. Yo, that's some nasty that's shit. Low key like some some Dom some Jeffy Dahmer shit. Bro, bro, he was there. He was insane, bro. Bro, you know Jeffy Dahmer was trying to do that. What with the dead bodies? He tried to dig. It, it's a report where he was trying to dig up a dead body, but he said like when I was watching Netflix, he said like he couldn't dig up the body because the ground was too hard. <laughs> he said if he was able to, he would have definitely done it though. See, I don't know why people are so weird, bro. Bro, that's disgusting though, bro. That's nasty, it's bro. It's the fact this motherfucker was like, yeah, bro, I would have got it, bro. Just lucky the ground was too hard, bro. But that's the one, only thing stopping you? You could have... Like, that's the one thing that stopped you from doing it. Always, the ground was too hard. Not that you would think it was sad. Nah, he said, nah, bro. I don't know. I think people just got a little screw loose, you know what I'm saying? But just, just the, them, bro, just them fetishes, that, bro. That nigga took, stole a body and just kept it. You, we don't know what he did. Nobody knows what he did to that body. Bro, Imagine he, he did the, if it was for like he loved two that. or three years, bro, or more, bro. He was definitely. You think doing, he was kissing? You think he was kissing that? Yes, thing? Bro, that's disgusting, bro. Just a yo, the skin is like falling off, and he has to literally like peel it back on with like paper mache. That's disgusting. And bro. imagine the smell, bro. He just keeps spraying like Lysol and disinfecting spray on it. Yo, that's really like some Dahmer shit. But this nigga just had people bodies just sitting in there. Bro, nah, yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer was just is just weird, bro. Nah, what really blew my shit was when he they said he just had a he had somebody's head just sitting in the refrigerator. Yeah, bro. Like I think I don't know. That's just like a mental problem, bro. At that point, people people got some shit, some creepy shit for for dead bodies. Hey, bro. I think that's a real thing. People that just got fetishes for like dead corpses. There's shit. fetishes for everything, bro. Like there's there's fetishes for literally everything you could possibly think of. Like I don't know, like I. <laughs> Like, bro, just the fact that you said that that shit happened in 1930 just shows you that people had crazy fetishes even way back in the day. That was day. almost 100 years ago. Yeah. He literally, all of off of vision, bro. Like, it could have been the <laughs> And if it's the fact that that motherfucker came back out of the, the hole and said, bro, I'm still I'm still on this timing, bro. I'm still like, like he I'm keeps getting- I'm still horny for her. Oh, man, bro. He he wasn't even his girl, his boy. Uh, That wasn't even his girlfriend, bro. That's, some, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's even crazy. Like, really she just, probably was just, like, taking all this stuff just because, and she probably didn't even like the nigga back, bro. Just to be generous. Don't be simp, people. Unless the girl likes you back, don't do too much, Wait, Wade was like, so how did she die? Uh, Tuberculosis. Oh, she died from that shit? Mm-hmm. Oh. Like, she died, like, a couple months later. Because I guess it got bad. But, dang, bro. That's so hey, bad. Bro, he did a bad job as a simp because he couldn't save her. I- <laughs> 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 that nigga failed his mission. He failed the mission. He bro. failed his life. Nah. Hey, that's why he stole it back, bro. Nah, that's why he stole take, it back. You gotta take your L, bro. You gotta take the L. <laughs> hey, he bro. Tried, he tried to redeem himself, but he did it in the worst way possible, bro. Oh man, bro. That's not redeeming yourself, bro. That's some. That's some other shit, bro. Yeah, bro. That's not redeeming. But I got one more other thing to talk about. So people, like we do in every show, if you want, we're doing urban legends. So comment down your state down below if you want your urban legend. So this week we got Ohio, right? And I was watching, I, I seen this on TikTok. So it's about, it's called the Cincinnati Crawler, right? So I guess, so this happened in 1970s, right? So a family in Cincinnati was seeing, having like weird stuff happen in their house. Like their daughter reported like seeing like eyes out her window type shit. Like at nighttime, late at night, see like random like glowing eyes. And then a couple of days later, her son reported that like, he he felt the dog, the family dog, hop on the bed. So he started petting it, but he realized it wasn't the dog, and it was actually a person. And the person 
like they he screamed out, called for his family, and the people got him and tied him up. And they say like this guy was like tied to a bunch of like other. I guess there was like four boys that were in the neighborhood that disappeared, and he was tied to that. Or they're they're suspecting like that like he's the reason why they got they disappeared. Like he mm-hmm. abducted them, and they think like the police think that he was like an escaped convict, but other people think that he was like a human experiment done by the father of the family. And, like, he escaped the basement and was trying to get, like, revenge on the family. Yo, that's, like, some goosebumps shit. Remember yes, that shit? Bro. Remember the motherfucker was in the basement cooking up something, bro? Bro. And, like, he... Like, there was a whole picture of him. But, like, supposedly, like, he escaped, like, before the cops came and nobody ever found him. And he's just, like, well... Like, just Yo. imagine, though. Imagine he's a human experiment and, like, they was, like, doing nah, tests it's, on it's, him. It's, it's, it's crazy if you think about it. Like, your father doing a whole experiment in the basement mm-hmm. in your crib without your knowledge exactly you think a lot of people you think people do that stuff like like test on humans uh yeah I mean I think people that do that kidnapping shit oh you think so I feel like that's low key one uh I don't know I think I might that could be like a little fetish that goes with it like bro I'm gonna kidnap somebody cause I'm gonna I'm gonna try something on you like what the fuck bro I think that's what I mean Dahmer was probably doing some shit like that too bro he said he was trying to create fucking zombies bro he was. He said he was drilling holes in the back of the head and pouring like acid. Cause like, I think it was like an experiment with like a frog, mm-hmm. and you put like some type of acid on their brain. Oh, and, and I think their, that's... their legs and shit still move. They still be moving and shit. Oh, so he was doing that on people. He was trying to do it on people. Obviously, motherfucker. Niggas is dying. That shit, that motherfucker just dying and dying. I don't know, bro. Like, I just think that's no that that shit. Especially that part where you said. He, the kid would thought there was a dog and there was a whole person. Just imagine, uh, just imagine Boomer hopped on your bed. You think it's Boomer? You just found asleep. You start hugging, bro, and you wake up. It's a nigga smiling in your face, bro. That reminds me of the other like, urban legend I heard it before. It's called the. Uh, you ever heard of the licked hand? Nah, where's it from? I think it's, it's literally just an urban legend. I heard like hella time when I was like young and shit. Cause my cousin like yo, bro. He was like, whenever you get a dog or some type of shit, like late at night. Don't like people trying to put your hand under your bed and stuff like that, bro. Why, bro? Oh my mother, bro, motherfuckers just can't. Cause like motherfuckers say, you look under your bed, bro. It's like a whole person's gonna be under your bed. He was like, um, this is what my cousin told me. He was like, bro, if you look at, go if you look outside your window, and you stare at a star for like long as fuck, you gonna see somebody under your bed. Really, like so the boogeyman? Then, some shit like that. So then like later, so then he told me like, yeah, cause like some person. Um, they was home alone by themselves. Their parents left them, and then it was there just home with their dog, right? Yeah. So the person, I guess, the person was used to having their dog under their bed, and put the hand over when they were sleeping. And the dog would lick the hand while they were sleeping. Yeah. But one night, the family left, and like the the, the little girl, she was hearing a lot of drips in the kit in the in the bathroom, like the faucet or something. Like it was like dripping. She was like, "What the fuck?" And then she turned it off in the back room. Still dripping, old Dean. So she just left it alone, slide, bro. So then she put her hand under the, under the bed. No dog looking at her hand, stuff like that. And then I think she woke up, went to sleep, woke up hours again, put her hand under the bed, check if the dog was licking. The dog was still looking at her hand, right? Yeah. But the faucet's still going, right? Yeah. So she like, all right, bro, it's like three in the morning now. She goes check the faucet. Bro, on the, on the mirror, it's written. I think it's like, watch for the licked hand. On the mirror, written in blood, and then you look in the, and then she opens the shower curtain. The dog is hanging up. I think about like his tongue. The dog is like dead, like a, it's it's dead as fuck, and it's just hanging up. And there's somebody licking her hand under the bed, bro. It was somebody licking her hand under the bed. Nah, that's it's like a crazy urban legend, bro. So imagine you just walk into the kitchen and your dog is just hanging up, and you're like, who the fuck was licking? My hand under my So, did bed. she go back into the bedroom or did they? I think the story ended like that, though, bro. Oh. Yeah, bro. Die. Urban letters are crazy because, like, they could be real. Or they couldn't be real. Or they couldn't be real. That's what I'm saying. But it makes you think, like, mm, let me not do it, though. That's... I feel like urban letters are sometimes the low key warning. Just not do dumb shit. Yeah, I, I, I think I know what you mean. I think it means just, just be casual, bro. Yeah. That's why low key before, that's why I wanted the, um, the bed I got. That's yeah. why I don't like that shit on my bed. Bro. Oh, that's why you changed your bed? Yeah, Loki. I don't, I don't like having un, like seeing under my bed, bro. Yeah, I think yeah, I don't got because that. Because as a kid, I used to Loki scare myself. I should just like peek under my bed like this. I'm like, bro, someone could just 
Pull like my grab dick. your legs. Oh Pull my, my head, bro, in, bro, and it's over for me, bro. Do you, do you still be having them little ghost things that be happening at your crib? Like, remember before you used to talk about it? I haven't had none recently. All right, bro. good, good, good. Because I, I really, like, every time you hopped on the episode, you always some weird shit always happening, bro. I haven't happened, had bro. nothing recently, bro. All right, bro. good, we, good. We're going to keep it, but it's, it's, it's getting into the winter, so that's when it kicks up. That's when it kicks up. <laughs> in, in, in the summer, it be, it, be, it be doing its own thing, but in the winter, bro, that's when it, it be trying to pop out. Oh, God, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Nah, man. See that shirt? You got to buy it respectfully. Hey, go cop some merch. Merch should be out now by the time this video is out. So go cop some. Cop some merch. Um, Link in the description down below. We we, 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 we turn it up. We're going to try to bring in more accessories and stuff like that. But, yeah. you know, as time goes on, we're going to try maybe get y'all some lanyards. Ooh, lanyards is tough. Maybe. I was thinking about maybe one of like wristbands. Maybe a, a phone case, maybe. Ooh, phone case? A PS5 frame. Look at that hella shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hella shit. But yeah, go copy some merch. Link in the description below. Limited supply, but if we sell out, then we might have some more. And more stuff coming on the way too, by the way. So go copy some No Regulars merch. No Regulars.com, by the way, also. And shout out to you again, bro. Thank you again for pulling Thank to another episode. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you haven't already, follow all the socials down below. Follow our socials down below. If you want to go talk to us, go DM us. You can always be obliged to. Follow, join the Discord if you also want to talk to us. You want to play games with us. You know, Jordan playing Call of Duty. I got 2K. I'm going to be playing Call of Duty too. Hop on that Modern Warfare. You going to start streaming, bro? We're all streaming now, bro. Bro, you didn't even tell me about him streaming. He, be he, he just told me to put my, my voice in the chat and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, bro. I think I'm going to do it, bro. Just try it, bro. I... I, I I think I got a Twitch account, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to link that shit up. You gotta try it, bro. Bro, because I be playing that that Batman game, so. Oh, the um that the Arkham be, Knights. Yeah, well that 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 Gotham Knights. Shit, Gotham, so. I said Arkham Knights. You like it? I got I got good games to play, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I, I got hella games to play, bro. You just gotta record this. I gotta help Jason with his. Bro, shit. you gotta hop on that God of War if you like single player games, bro. Dang, it's just a beautiful game to play, bro. It is. Yeah, bro. All right. For Maybe ca for casual like you, you might like. <laughs> Is that casual like me? I'm gonna I'm gonna sweat now in 2K though, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, do I have anything else? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Uh, like, comment, all that stuff. Follow us on all the socials. Oh, shout out again to our sponsor, Natural Sheila G. If you need something for your anxiety, need something for your mental health, need something for your to stay focused in school, take this three times a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, once at night if you want to, or you can just take it in the morning with your coffee, tea, and water. And it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes great. Mixed with honey, too. So just let you know, it detoxes your body. So natural Sheila G, use code no regulars, save you some money, and you can save us in the long, save us some bread in the long way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, and new. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you. Ah, this will be a surprise. Wow. So that the new sponsor is going to be here for Jason's pod, though. Jason and Fritz's pod. On Jason's Thursday. pod. Well, we're going to stay all tuned in. You, you feel know what me? I'm saying? But we different. They regular, no regular, than gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.